You know, I've shared many career highlights, even personal matters with you, our viewers, over the years, and it's time now to share again. I'm going to be away from the anchor desk for a couple of weeks to undergo a much-needed surgery. I've never been one to shy away from any assignment. I'm Christy. I'm sorry about your situation. We're trying to understand it. All right. I'm good. Taking you along on undercover DEA raids. We're with the team now in Albion, in this wooded area. Suspect vehicle going to be a Ford 500 green color. Ride alongs with a gang task force. That's all crack cocaine. That's all crack cocaine. Giving you first hand accounts. To tell the best story. We're going to go straight there. We're just going to roll in and we're going to go and hit Definitely it. right there. To cover all angles. How difficult was it as you were going through withdrawal? Lean back. Okay. Hey, put your other foot down. Challenges. Uh, That's it. Yeah, I think you're going to have just a whole bunch of fun. Adventures. <gasps> Look at that. You got your name. Oh. Oh. The sky's the limit. And in my personal life, stress disappears on the dance floor and melts away on the ice. But in the last six months, I fought as best I could and am now... This is called the armbar takedown. Crying uncle to chronic pain. Chrissy came and she was having problems with, uh, with her hip. Um, significant issues with loss of motion, uh, weight-bearing activities became more and more problematic. Arthritis has taken hold, yeah, actually, and these hips space. don't lie. My x-ray tells the story there's and the need space. for a total hip top. replacement. You can see there's no space up on top, so that's bone on bone in her hip area. And the other thing that you've noticed through here, when you look at a normal hip, it's a round ball. She's had her arthritis, and the reason she's having so much pain with this is the ball itself is being ground down. It's like, it's like two pieces of sandpaper that are rubbing. So the head up on top through here is not round anymore. It's becoming flat because it's worn out. That's why it hurts so much right now. That's why it's different now than it probably was a year ago. A year ago, we tried anti-inflammatory meds, physical therapy, cortisone shots, which help, but only for a while. But when you get to this stage, that's the reason it's, it's increasing intensity while you're using the cane. The cane actually will take 30% of your weight away from your hip area, and that's why it helps you to a certain degree. Um, but uh, that's, this is, that's just the end result of what's going on with your hip area. And it can't get any better. No, it'll only get worse. It's only going to get worse. Procedure's about an hour. A shock to hear the diagnosis, yeah. but I've got a lot of company. Know, Dr. Bogosian does six to eight knee and hip replacements a day. And a total hip replacement? It's no longer just your grandparents' surgery. And we're doing hip replacements in 50, 40-year-olds, and sometimes 30-year-olds. And so your age is not as much of a factor now as it was before. The implant itself will actually rotate. Because surgical techniques have changed, the technology and durability of implants are better, lasting longer. And now a better option for younger adults who no longer want to live and play with pain. And in my case, my best option. So this is your ball and your socket part of this. So the socket part of this will go into the, uh, the upper part through here, and then your stem goes into your canal, which acts as your uh, new implant. And how soon will I feel relief? The pain you have right now, actually, from your um, arthritis, you'll notice right away when you first get up the first day is gone. Motivation for a major operation. Oh, not wasting any time. A minor setback to get me back in the saddle or cockpit or wherever my next assignment takes me. Full speed ahead. Here we go. Here we go. So my surgery is tomorrow morning. I'm going to be away just for a few weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm terrified, but I know I'm in good hands with Dr. Bogosian and his team. Special thanks to my physical therapist, Kevin Gretzky, my trainer, Mike Duracola from Strides, helping me to get into shape for that surgery tomorrow. Now, if you've had this operation, I would love to hear from you. If you haven't, but you're thinking about it, I promise I'll let you know how it goes. And special thanks to Carrie, Jeff Kulikowski, Nicole Somavilla, who will be filling in for me, Rod, while I'm used to getting my... Christy, we oh, know you, you guys. We, we just have to have a little something to uh, have you take with us.
it's a good luck cake, but also a birthday cake because last, what, Thursday or yes. Friday? We <laughs> missed your birthday. Oh, my so goodness. So it's you a dual are... thing. My and family. We're going to celebrate tonight. Yeah. And the other thing you were saying is that uh, you'll be up walking after the surgery yes. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You'll be yeah. up quickly. once again before you know it. Yeah. But, you know, I can't have any cake before surgery. So. <laughs> oh. Rod will take care of it. put it in the freezer for me. <laughs> Rod will take care of it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You guys are my family, and I appreciate it. Again, you are in good hands. You've got the best in town, and we know you're going to come back and and, uh, and bug us. you some more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forever, a great job. Yep. Thank you, Rod. The, the police officer is going to miss you. Yep. I've, yeah. I've asked them to call me, but I know that they only call you. Yeah. yeah. So. Probably should have done this a long time <laughs> yeah. ago, but I'm ready. Yeah. She's ready. We're